Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Tiana Holisky, and I make fashion and lifestyle videos. So currently we are in Utober, and I am loving every minute of it, I've said this in every video, but I seriously love making content, I love fall, and I love sharing this with you guys, so I'm just loving Utober, and it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong, I probably couldn't post every day for the full year but I'm loving posting every day and I hope you guys are loving it too. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tiana. I make fashion lifestyle videos, I love it. Um, I'm posting every day of the month of October because I'm doing Utober this year and I love it, as I've said many times. Um, today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of hard video for me to share. Yesterday I filmed a vlog where I talked about missing my boyfriend and this is kind of where the inspiration came from. I'll play the clip here. I was very emotional, very sad. Don't judge me. This is not how I typically am. I'm not an emotional, touchy-feely person. I'm a Scorpio. Not that I'm an astrologist or am not into astrology, but for all my fans that are into astrology, I'm a Scorpio, so you understand. So let's roll the clip of what happened yesterday. <sighs> I wish I was just home. No, what I wish is that my boyfriend was not... I'm not gonna cry. I just really... Ah, sorry, I'm not a crier. What the... What's going on? Why am I having feelings? I miss my boyfriend. Okay, let's go get some wine. So, yeah. I was pretty sad yesterday, especially when it came to missing my boyfriend. I just had a bad day and then that just kind of like, me saying that out loud just really like, it got me, it got to me. Um, so I decided to make a video about how to make long distance work. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a new video every day of the month of October and then after October is over, it'll be once every Wednesday and once every Saturday. Sorry, I guess it's been a long time since I have shared that. If you guys have any tips on how to make long distance work and make it easier, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below because I would love all the help I can get because although I've kind of mastered long distance relationships, there are still days where I struggle as you guys seen. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I get into my five tips on how to make long distance work, I want to tell you guys my story on why I'm in a long distance relationship so you guys can see that I am kind of a master of it because I've been doing it for so long. So Cole is my boyfriend. This is him here. I love him. Um, we have been together for three years now. It's our three year anniversary, like the month of October. We don't really have a set date, but the month of October is our three year, which is so exciting. Um, so we met in school. So we both went to school for fashion design and sustainable production. So we met there and then our first year we were just like, didn't talk a ton. And then at the end of the first year we started talking and everything. And then October of 2017, we started dating officially. So that was our, the beginning of our second year of college. And um, we dated and like normal dating things. Like I lived in like my dorms and he lived in an apartment across the city. We had classes together, we'd go on dates or whatever for that full year. And then we moved home for the summer and it was, sad, like we really miss each other and we were stressed because we had just graduated, so 2018 we graduated from fashion, and we were kind of stressed about what we were going to do with our lives, so we, um, Cole plays soccer, he played soccer for the college, so he was like, I want to play another year, so I was like, maybe I'll go back to school, so I went back to school for business, and he went back to school for general studies and playing soccer, um, that year we both worked and went to school and made living together work, it was, so we moved in together into an apartment, a small apartment, but it was lovely. We loved it. We definitely had our times where we were ready to kill each other with like who I was supposed to do the dishes that day or whatever, but we made it work. It was great. We loved it. And then once our my first year of business was done, Cole graduated from his general studies program. And so he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna 
use the next year to save up money and pay off my student loans and everything and I was like good on you so he moved back home to Edmonton Alberta we went to school in Lethbridge I don't know if you if I've mentioned that so that's a six hour drive away give or take five six maybe I don't know uh, I should know I've made that drive enough anyways so we did that uh, he moved out I got Tika this is Tika I love her as well <laughs> Um, I got her, I moved into a pet friendly apartment, so I lived there for a full year by myself well, until COVID hit. So I lived there and made long distance work there for a year and it was challenging, don't get me wrong, we had our days and our moments where we were ready to give up, we were ready to just throw in the towel. Um, once COVID hit, I moved home, which is further away from Edmonton. So we didn't see each other for three months when the pandemic started, so from February I think 17th was the last time I seen him until the end of May, maybe even June 6th, I want to say. Like, it was, it was a big chunk of time that we did not see each other. Three or four months, I believe. So it was hard, but we learned a lot of skills to help keep us happy, keep us in the relationship, keep us into each other. Not that that sounds really strange, but if that makes sense to you, I hope it does. Um, we did a lot of things to kind of figure out and navigate a relationship long distance of not seeing each other at all. And then since then we see each other about every four or five weeks, so sporadically every couple weekends, not couple, but like, you know what I mean. Four to five weeks we'll see each other and then we'll go to the four to five weeks. So, currently, oh I'm not gonna cry, I just miss him. So currently it's been like three and a half weeks, four weeks since I've seen him. So next weekend I get to see him because it'll be five weeks and I'm so excited, like super excited I get to see him. And yeah, so that is kind of my story about mine and Cole's long distance relationship so I do have a year and a half under my belt of a long distance. Alright so now that you know my story of long distance it's time for me to tell you guys my five tips on making long distance work. So let's get into it. Alright so tip number one is going to be building trust. So trust is important in every relationship no matter what type of relationship it is. It can be family relationships, friend relationships, and boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, marriage, whatever. Trust, that is number one tip for anything. Promise you, if you have trust in someone, your relationship will just be that much better because you don't want to be that person that is always nagging on them, being like, who's this, who's that, blah, 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 all the annoying stuff. So building trust is very important, especially especially when it's long distance. So Cole and I live seven and a half hours away, so I don't see him very often. And we both have our own lives, which is great. I think having your own life other than your significant other is a very, very important thing behind trust. But having that trust for long distance is so important because you need to be able to live your life and not feel like you're doing something wrong from your significant other. So tip number one is to build trust because that is important. Some tips for building trust is really analyzing what kind of person you're with because if you can't trust the person you're with then why are you with them? Not to sound like terrible. Um, some other things if you do have trust issues but you know you really like this person because don't, I had trust issues with my boyfriend with Cole at the beginning um, because I was 18 and 18 year olds just do that okay. Um, so some things that I did to build trust was kind of having that reassurance of knowing what he was doing so he would just you know let me know like hey I'm going for drinks with the guys or hey I'm going golfing with this person and like having that communication was really important so trust and communication are kind of hand in hand so having that communication to help you trust that person is great so trust and communication is kind of tip number one but trust over communication so number two is communication. I guess I kind of went ahead of myself. So trust and communication, important. Communication is so important in every relationship, again, but in long distance especially because your only form of seeing each other is through the internet and communicating over the internet. So you don't have, like, you can't just sit down and watch a movie together or go for lunch together or whatever, like, your love language is. I hate using that word, but it's true. Um, so you don't have those other forms of showing your affection for someone, so communication is key. So Cole and I will text throughout the day, like, just casual conversation as most people do. 
um, but then we'll schedule FaceTime calls. So we try to FaceTime once a week to kind of 